So I've come to my car today and there's a new software update. And finally, we can add waypoints to our map. So I'm gonna get in the car and show you how it works. So there's been a whole host of updates. We're now in 2021.40.6. Now, they've actually added British English to the language. I thought this was always in here, so that's been added in there as new. There's cold weather improvements, improvements to uh, the battery mileage display, so it's gonna more accurately show you how many miles you've got left. Um, but the main thing that we've wanted to see for ages is the ability to add waypoints to your map. Now, this is handy if, like me, you travel from Manchester, I go all the way to Great Yarmouth, and the nearest supercharger to Great Yarmouth is still about 50 miles away. So I, I always like to stop there, have a little top up, and then go on my way to Great Yarmouth. But at the moment, I just have to navigate to that supercharger and then from there navigate home. So this is how you do it. Let's jump into the maps. Okay, so from within your maps in the car, simply enter a destination like you normally would. I'm gonna put in York here. I'll pretend I'm gonna see my friend Stu in York. And you can see it's gonna calculate the route like it normally would. But if you want to add another destination, you've got a new icon up here, which is the add waypoint. So simply tap that and then we can enter another one. So let's just say I want to go to a Starbucks on the way. Let's add that in there. Starbucks coffee, uh, Piccadilly, Manchester. Let's add that one in there. And you can see we now have a waypoint added into the maps. It's gonna give us the battery percentage left at each of those waypoints and the total trip time and hours. So that's really, really good to see. I'm really glad they finally added that. The only thing you can't do, you can't remove these waypoints once they're in. You do have to cancel the entire trip. Uh, and you can't move the waypoints about, but you can add in more waypoints. So let's just say we want to stop at Leeds on the way, we go to Leeds train station. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna add it in above the previous waypoint. So it's a bit random in that sense, because uh, you can see we're going to Leeds first, then we're coming back to Manchester, and then we're going back to York. So just be careful how you use these waypoints. I mean, to be honest, in most journeys, you wanna do your final destination first, and then just somewhere in the middle. There we go, just a super quick video today. I hope that's helped you. If it has, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.